Hello, welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this video, we are going to be looking at how you can import DWG file, that is an AutoCAD file, into Revit, and then use it to create a topography. All right, so in the previous video, we talked about how you can import AutoCAD files into Revit for the purpose of using it as a guide to create a 3D geometry for your line works that you did in AutoCAD. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be doing something similar, but this time around, we're going to be doing it with a civil engineering drawing. So now what we need to do, as we did before, is go to the insert tab, and then we're going to be using link card instead of import card. Okay, in the previous video, I already told you the reason why link card is the best option. So for sure, I'm going to use link card. Okay, so I'm going to go to DWG files. Okay, I'm going to attach this file in the description for you. You can download it from there. Now, when you open this dialog, I need you to select this is the site, the site plan topography. That's one we are going to be using. Okay, I need to select, don't double click it. If you double click it, it is going to, you are going to deprive yourself the opportunity to make some changes. All right, so let's look at the settings that we need to change. For the positioning, we are going to leave it as it is. Okay, we're going to leave it as um, origin to internal origin. For the color, I don't really care about the color. So uh, maybe for this time around, we're going to leave it as invert. All right. Current view only, we are going to leave it unchecked, okay? In the previous video, I emphasized the importance of current view only, but it is not the same in this, in this instance, okay? When you check on this current view only, it is going to take this information in this site plan topography. It is going to squish it into 2D information because this file is not a 2D file. It is, it is actually an, a 3D file. Let me show you. This is the AutoCAD file. So if I come over here and I click on it, like so, you are going to see it, that this file actually has a depth, as you can see. So when you turn on the when you turn on this um, current view only, it is going to squish it into one level. So we don't see it in any other level. Okay. But we don't need that. When you do that, it is going to spoil your topography site plan that was given to you by your civil engineering. Okay. So we are going to leave it unchecked. So the next thing I want us to talk about is the correct lines that are slightly off axis. Okay, we are going to uncheck this too. In the previous video, we left it checked because let's say the designer that was designing the floor plan in AutoCAD, you know, thought the line that he drew was 90 degree, but it's actually 89.999. Okay, Revit is going to adjust it for you and make it actually 90 degrees. But in this case, maybe the civil engineering actually left that line 89.999 on purpose. So we are not going to correct any line that are slightly off axis because that axis that it is might be the axis that it's supposed to be. Okay. So we are going to uncheck it. So the import unit is another thing I want us to actually look at. Okay. Revit is a very smart tool. It is going to dictate, okay, the unit that this file was worked on in AutoCAD. Okay. So you don't actually need to do anything, but sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes when you leave it like this, things might actually come out a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be, then you now have to go and verify the, the unit that it was done in and actually select that unit and then import it. But for this case, I'm going to leave it as auto detect. And then that's all for the settings. I'm just going to hit open. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to expand it so that we can see the extent of this site. As you can see, this is the site topography that we just imported. All right, let's go to the 3D view and take a look. Let me turn on this thing so I can see where the center is. Yeah, so we need to go close to this place. Okay. Need to make here the center. Mm -hmm. So you can see that it's actually, okay, it's actually, it has the height that it is supposed to have in here, the way it is in the AutoCAD file, okay? So that's how you import your site topography to use it for general graph. But this is not all, you know? We are going to use this now, and we're going to generate a topo solid, a topography with which we are now going to do the work we're supposed to do in Revit. So how do we do that? Now, I need you to do something for me. I need you to head back to the AutoCAD file, and I want you to select it. Then when you select it, I need you to take note of the layer. Okay, you can see that the layer that is containing this line is Ophobic Contour. Okay, if we select another one, the same Ophobic Contour. If we select 
all of them. That same Ophobic contour. So the our side topography is located inside the Ophobic contour layer. So let's head back to Revit. We're gonna see the reason why we did that right now. So we're going to go to the Mason and Site tab. And then we're going to see Topo Solid. Now, Topo Solid is a tool that you use to create your site. Okay? Your topo, your topography and all that. So if I just click on it now, I can use this and create a topography, as you can see. So after creating this Topo Solid, and I say, okay, this is too flat, I want to add height to it. I can do that by modifying sub-element, sub and then I'll add points. Okay, let's say I add three points. I just select this point and add a height to it. Let's say I add 16 meters to it. You can see we are having heights over here. You can decide to add 10 meters over this side. And then here I can add 25. Here I can add 25 meters. Okay. All right. So let me just come out of this. Now, as you can see, we have a topography and you can see Revit added these lines for us automatically. Okay. So now, but when you want to now do the same thing for here, you don't want to now come and start adding the points manually. Like you come over here, you'll be adding points to follow this and then maintaining the height. No, you don't do that. That is going to take you tremendous amount of time. It's going to be very stressful. So what I'm going to show you now is a very easy way that you can just do this thing and it will generate the lines for you based on the information provided by the civil engineering drawing so how do you do that instead of just coming over here and clicking on this thing you click on the drop down and then click on this create from import all right so when you do that you obviously you know that what we imported is a card file so i'm going to select card file okay create from card so i'm just going to come over here and i'm going to click on this now, I remember when I asked, so I asked you to go back to AutoCAD and check the layers that is containing this, our topography line. That is where we are going to use it. And you remember that the only layer that was containing all the topography line was Okfobi contour. So I'm going to uncheck it and I'm going to invert. What that does for you is it is going to uncheck others that were checked and then check the ones that were that was not checked. Okay. So I'm not going to hit OK. Now. As you can see, let me put this in a shaded view. As you can see, our site has been created. The topography and everything is already there showing. So I can just come over here, select this and hide it. That is the topography file that I used to do this and hide it. And as you can see, we have our topography showing in 3D not just lying now. You can see the areas we have depression. You can see the depressions showing. Okay, let me go over here and then set it to fine and then go inside here. Remove the show edges and put smooth anti-aliasing. Okay, you can see we have a site that is, we just generated without having to add any point. Now if I select this thing now, and I go to edit, you will see all the points that this thing added for you automatically. If you have to add all these points manually, it is going to take you tremendous amount of time. So that's how you use your DWG file, which you imported inside Revit to create a topography geometry inside your Revit project. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorial. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.